So next, we are going to talk about integers. So an integer, just like any other variable type, allows us to add something to it. So an int is essentially a bucket that allows us to add numbers to it. So to create an integer, I say int, that is the keyword used. And then of course, just like we learned before, we have to add the name in memory of this bucket. I can say age, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and add 23 because I am 23. <laughs> Not really. All right. So this case here, we have age variable that has 23 to it. So this equal again is assignment. So we are assigning 23 to the integer age or to bucket type integer named age. Right. So we can do the same thing at the bottom here. If I want, I can say age, call it. Right. So we're calling the variable and say we want to print it out. And in this case here, if I go ahead and save, run this real quick we should see our age showing. Now it's taking a little bit here, but for you it should run fairly quick. And there we go, 23 is indeed working, right? So there we go. Now the cool thing here is that there are times that we want to print out some sort of a combination of text and integer, right? In this case here, what we can do, we can use what we call concatenation. Concatenation is essentially adding or gluing two things together that sometimes could be different types, right? So the way we do this, I could say age, or I could actually write something I can say, my name is and then I'm going to concatenate in order for us to concatenate here to glue two things together or to add a variable inside of our print line here with text, I can add name like that. So this is not addition. Okay, what are we doing here is we're saying we want to say my name is and then the compiler is going to say name, what is name? Well, name is a variable type string. So it's going to go and pull Georgina. Okay, and then I can add another plus, put string there, put space, and add something else. In this case, I can say age, and I can continue to work on this string. So my name is, it's going to be name, it's going to be Georgina, right? I can say, and I am age, like that, I can add old. Okay, let's put a comma there, save this give it a run, we should see a full sentence. My name is Georgina, and I'm 23, say years old. Let's save this and do the same run again. And you can see it says my name is Georgina, and I'm 23 years old. However, you see, we don't have space in here because this doesn't look quite good. Now, the reason why we're having this issue here is because we didn't put a little space in the string initials here, right? So if we go ahead and put a space here, so the compiler will read this space here as actual space. So anything that you put around the double quote, it's going to be considered a string, even a space is also considered a string. Okay, so save this right now. And you can see now we have all those spaces. So this is another important detail when we talk about strings that spaces are also counted as string. So if you want a space, you just put a space as you saw, and you will see the space being shown. Very good. So what I want you to do is to play around with this concept here. So the most important thing is to understand that you can actually create numbers. So make even 230 as such, or even more something like that. Okay. There are, of course, a uh, few restrictions in terms of the length or the size of integer. So one thing that we can do here is let's see if I make this number a little bit bigger, continue adding more and more numbers. Let's see. Ah, it looks like at some point, this number doesn't work. So if I put another nine or another digit there, notice we have a problem. Integer number is too large. It turns out that an int type, remember a bucket in memory, it has a size, meaning it has certain capacity, right? Meaning if you have a bucket, every bucket you will ever encounter will have a size. It could be a bucket the size of the world. Nevertheless, it has a size, right? So it turns out that integers have capacity, which means there is a certain size of numbers that will fit into an integer bucket, okay? So that is another very important concept to understand. Now, very seldom do we actually run into these issues unless you are creating more sophisticated programs that allow for bigger numbers, right? And there are other types of variables that will allow for bigger numbers and so forth. But I just want to give you that detail about the capacity of an int. All right, so what I want you to do now is to create many other variables int variables as well as string and see if you can concatenate like we did here. Alright folks, and I'll see you next.